Okay, we're here in the key line field where we did the key line ploughing and I've got my trusty clipboard with me and you can see the sword stick here that uh, are supplied by the Better Returns programme from our, uh, uh, our AHDB, our agricultural government body, uh, advisory body and um, you can see what you've got on there for the different times of the year You've got kilograms of dry matter per hectare for a compressed um, for a compressed amount of grass, so it's quite helpful to see that. And you can see I've also on the uh, on the orange sheet behind. I've also summarised that so I can see it all on one sheet. If I know how many centimetres, if I haven't got the swad stick, I can just do it by centimetres. Come back and work out uh, exactly how many I've got um, from there. So. We're going to have a look here today. We just you can actually see as we walk along. I'll try and go sideways on, and you should be able to see each sort of almost, each tram line almost where the key line plan went through. And it's worth saying that from this what was really compacted field, you can see the grass growth is fantastic. There's Bess having to lie down, having a bit of a bath in the grass, lovely. And then, but in terms of vegetative growth. You've got a mixture here of ryegrass and there's some Yorkshire fog and coxfoot, a lot of uh, white clover. Uh, <coughs> the buttercups didn't seem to like, there's a few here, but overall they haven't really seemed to like it, uh, having the, uh, the key line go through them. Um, but you can see here this is, this is pretty good growth. This is, this is a field that's had what we did, we mucked the field first. You can't even see where the key line where the plough went there. So we mucked the field first and then we pl key line ploughed it and the idea behind that was that we really wanted to get, if it, you know, when it rained after the key line ploughing, get those nutrients, get some something down, lower down, so that the roots would have a reason to go down a bit lower once we'd actually done the ploughing. Um, again you can see the growth up here is pretty good. It's always been reasonable up here, this is probably one of the better parts of the field, but I have to say that a combination of the muck and the key line ploughing, you know, you could, you could argue it's just the muck that's done this, but I think the uniform nature of this and the fact that, you know, the muck, usually you get bits and pieces all over the place that uh, um, gives you, an, you know, an idea of where the muck fell. I don't think you can see that here, really. We've just got a really nice, um, a really good really good spread of even growth and most of those plough lines are now covered up. What I'm going to do now is just I'm going to measure this so this is going to get a bit shaky so I'm going to have to put the camera down for a minute. Right here we go so the dog's trying to help me here so what I'll do here Bess stay there get out of the way Bess Lie down, lie down. Okay, I'm going to try and choose. Best, I don't want to get rid of you. Right, <coughs> I'm going to try it. Here we go. So here's the sword stick. Lie down, Bess. Okay, I think we just got about um, 13 centimeters, which works out about three and a half thousand kilograms of dry matter per hectare. Just going to go over here downhill a bit onto this little bank which is the area that used to dry out and one of the reasons for doing the uh, key line ploughing and uh, we'll see how we get on over there. Okay you can you can see much more clearly here on the side of this bank it's kind of the steepest part of this section of the field um, you can see the, the, the plough lines a lot more clearly on here um, although they've, they've grown over well the grass the growth here isn't as good um, but I am just going to have a quick look. I'll just pick one at random and we'll see We'll see what we get to. Lie down, Bess. So, let's stick that in the ground there. I mean, I thought actually, I've got to say, it's not that much different. Just under 30 centimetres. Lie down, Bess. And we put that down. So actually, I'm getting about the same, if not more, actually. 13 and 14 centimetres on there. I'm just going to move to another one to make sure that this is 
not just picked a randomly high section. Lay down, Bess. Right, here we go. Lay down, lay down. It's a lot deeper than you think, actually, when you put it on there. So I'm going to go push that down. Yeah, I'm really having to push there. So we're looking at almost 4,000 kilos per hectare on the bank. I must admit, I thought it looked a lot less, but you've got better plant spacing and uh, the density here is actually probably better. So it's probably, it's probably reading a bit higher. I think we're obviously losing something in the plough lines on this bank, but that's going to come out over time and those should actually be some of the best parts of the field in the future because uh, they should have the least compaction and the root zones should be really good on those. So we'll just have a look at the bit we didn't plough and then we'll be done. Okay, I'm just going to try and show you now. We're walking across, you can just see the plough lines as Bess. And we'll see when the plough lines finish, just down here. Um, and as we go along, see if we can see a change in the vegetation. Sorry about shaky cam. Okay, you can sort of see where it ends there. And as we're coming out into this section that didn't have didn't have the uh, key line ploughing in, I just want to check to see how we're doing in terms of dry matter per hectare, and I'll have a little bit look below there as well. So if we just come down straight down into here, that's going to go down into there already. Looking a similar height, and I'm going to push that down. So that's kind of where we're looking about 12, 12 centimetres, slightly less, not a big difference. I'll try and choose somewhere else so that I haven't just picked a random low position. Uh, I'll just throw the, uh, the sword stick and see where it goes. Okay, there we go. Let's have a look. Best lie down, so I'm going to stick that into the ground and then push that down. So that's about 10 centimetres there. Uh, I'll try and find the highest bit, the, the best growth, the luscious growth. Here's a good section here. Um, looks like we've got some fescue there, it's grown quite well. Let's throw that down on there. Bess, she just wants to get involved, don't you? Hey? Right, let's get this board on here. You can see it says on there compress grass with gentle pressure using a clipboard. There we go. So we're looking at that, that's coming down about 12 30. Sorry, you can't see that. That's coming down about 12 13 on there, maybe a bit less. So <coughs> if we look at the dry matter, on the on the uh, on the chart there, you're talking about small changes, small increases. Um, but over the that's in one year. But over over the long term and over the whole field, that's actually quite a lot of food. So you, you're probably talking about 500 kilos of dry matter per hectare average difference in the space of a few months. We did have the right weather for it, but I think. You know, I think we can see that there's some benefit to it. Not a massive change. I suppose we didn't expect it to be, um, you know, world world changing. And certainly the muck has helped. That's um, that's had a big impact. We put a fair fair amount of muck on there. And I guess the other thing to say is on the bit that we didn't plow, we haven't lost the grass uh, along the plow lines as we have here. So actually, if you average that kilograms of dry matter per hectare out you're probably going to be about even so I guess what we've done is we've dealt with a, a problem that we had in the field which was compaction um, with no net loss of production um, and hopefully we've solved the problem in most of the area here as well we have 
mob grazed the whole field this year and last and so that will have helped it as well um, but overall I'm I'm happy with what we've done I'm not sure it's going to change the world but hopefully we've dealt with the compaction and we haven't lost any production in the process okay till next time